All right, so in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how we can use labels and filters to move incoming emails to accurate folders automatically without manually doing anything. So here we have some emails in our inbox. If I go to more, if you have any labels, they will probably show up here. Now, currently I'm just gonna start by creating a new label. So I'll do a new label here. If you have an existing label, you don't have to do anything, but I'll just call this, for example, invoices. So now, as you can see, that label shows up here, invoices. There's not gonna be anything under this. But now what I want to do, anytime that I have a new email in my inbox that has invoice in the subject line, I want that to, from now on, automatically go to this, invoices. And to do this, we're gonna go now, once we have this, to our settings. So I'll go under settings. This gear icon is where it's gonna be. You want to be flexible with Google's menus because they switch places all the time. So you may need to find where the settings are if you're watching this in a couple of months. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this see all settings. And in our settings, we have this section filters. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to this section. And currently you can see I have no filters applied. So I'll go ahead and click on this create new filter right here. And that's gonna open this advanced search. Now we're gonna decide what filters we apply. Now in my case, I want to go by subject line. So I'll go here by subject line and I'll type invoice. So anytime there is this word invoice in the subject line, I want this to happen. You could apply more filters here at the same time. If you wanted to, maybe there's a particular word or phrase you want in that email body to appear to, you can type it here. For me, I'm just gonna go by subject line. And then below here, we have this create filter option. So if I click on this, here we have a bunch of different things we can do. In my case, I only care about labeling process. So I'll go to this apply the label and here I'm gonna choose that label. If you don't have existing label, you can make a new one here. But for me, I made that invoices label already. So I'm gonna pick that. And at this point, I'm gonna just go ahead and click create filter. And as you can see now that filter is here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just try to send an email now to this particular email to make sure that email goes to the right spot. So at this point, when I send a new email that has invoice in the title, that should automatically be moved to this invoices label. So here I'm gonna start composing new email, type that particular email where I'm sending this, and I'll just do anything with a subject line that has invoice in it. And go ahead and send this. So now let's go and check out that email and see what exactly happened. So now you can see that I have this new email and you can see how the label was attached to it right away under invoices, still there. And it's under this invoices too. So this was labeled correctly and it's now in the proper spot. Now that being said, it's still going to appear in your inbox. So you may or may not want this to happen. Currently that is in my inbox and it's labeled properly. So therefore if I go under invoices, I still see that email. If we want to not have that in our inbox at this point, we can go back and change our settings. And I'm gonna go back to filters. We could have done this immediately when we were actually making this, but now I'm just gonna modify this. So I'll just grab this one and click edit. And you can see we already have this where we do this invoice. I'm gonna keep that. So I'm gonna hit continue. So what I'm gonna do at this point, I'm just gonna do skip the inbox and update this filter. So now let's try to send another email. And this time it should not appear in our inbox at all. It should just go to this invoices. So let's try that and see what happens. So here we are again, let's send another email.
again, sent. Let's go check out what happened in our inbox. So now you can see that that new one that I sent is not appearing here anymore. But under invoices, see, there's this one that says there is something new under this label. So if I click here, you'll see that appears here. So based on how you want to handle this, you can either ignore your inbox completely and send it all here, or you can keep in both spots. So that's up to you to decide. Now, let me show you a couple of other filter options that may be useful. So for example, let's say I want to be able to filter so that not only invoice goes to that particular folder, but I want to add a functionality to also send anything that has bill in my subject line to also go to this label invoices. So again, I'll go back and change my settings under filters. I'm going to again change this filter, click edit. Now here you can see how we have invoice and now we want to also include subjects with bill in them. In order for me to do so, I can use this or and type bill. Now it's important that you do uppercase or. Uppercase or is a special operator that's saying this or that. If you want at this point, you can hit search to kind of see what that would look like. So I'm just gonna do so. You can see how it filters this. You also wanna be paying attention to what happens here. See on top here, it shows me how that was created. So it's the subject colon, and then in parentheses, we have invoice or bill. Now, assuming I'm happy with this, we have to go back and basically redo the filter because as far as I know, you cannot apply this after you search anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and go under gear and see all settings, filters and click edit. And then here we'll do this or bill. So at this point, instead of hitting search, I'm gonna do continue. And we'll keep all of these the same, we'll update our filters. And by the way, if you want to basically apply this to all of your currently existing emails already, because when we create this, this is only gonna work on new emails coming in. But if you want to apply to existing ones, you can also click in this also apply to see this matching conversations. In my case, I don't care about existing ones. So I'm gonna leave it at this, update filter. And now I have this filter. So now anytime I send something with the word invoice or bill to this email, it's automatically gonna be sent to this invoices. A couple of other things I'm gonna show you with this filters that could be useful. So this time I'm just gonna use the search. However, if you want to apply this, you will still have to go to that filter section and modify it. For me, I'm gonna go under inbox just to give you some tips about searching and finding the right thing. So maybe instead of doing just the word invoice, you want to make sure it's both invoiced and attached. So if I have both of those words, then I wanna move that to that invoices folder. And I also want to make sure if there's the word bill, I want that to go to that particular label too. So the way you would have done that, if I go back to this options, right here in the subject line. So if I currently just do invoice attached or bill, this is not going to work. So if I go ahead and hit search so you can see what happens. See, I only get this invoice attached, but that bill doesn't show up in our search. So what I could do here, I'm gonna go and wrap this invoice attached part in parentheses like this. So basically I'm grouping this together, this invoice and attached, and then we're saying or bill. And with this, if I hit enter, you'll see that we get those. So now I got this invoice attached as one, and then I got bill, and both of those happen seeing the subject line. So that's the way you could do this sort of grouping. Now, let's say I do invoice attach like this. So if I hit enter, you'll see that now again, it has this invoice attached as one of the results that shows up here. Maybe I don't want to have invoice attached, I want only when it's attached. So in those cases, what I can do, I can go here and add a plus sign in front of that word and change this to 
attached. Notice that with attach, it didn't show up in my results because now there is no word attach in my subject. It's attached. So I'm going to do this, change this to attached and hit enter. And now we get that in the results. So if you want to make sure that whole word, that particular word appears in the subject line instead of just containing something with that word, then you can use this plus signs. So again, like the same thing, if I want this to be just invoice, not like invoices or some other thing that contains the word invoice, then I can add another plus sign in front of that word invoice like so. And that same thing we could apply with this word bill. So maybe it's not just the word bill that we're looking for. We want to make sure that it has the word bill and then the word guess. In those cases, we would go here and take the second part and put it in parentheses. And then here I can do bill guess. And with that same logic, if you want to make sure it's just the word bill, not like billing, you could add a plus sign and that should do that. And you could do that same thing with guess. So these are some pointers that could help you. And also remember that you could add more ors. So I could go here and do another big or, and now I can do yet another match. So maybe this one is invoice with a different type of word in it. So I guess we'll put another set of parentheses and do invoice. So for right now, if I just do the word invoice, so you can see what happens. So maybe at this point you want invoice and some other words here like you. So you can go here and add that to this. And you can see now we got this or this or this. And you could just try it out here to figure out what that should be and grab this, copy this, and then go back to your settings, and filters, and see this is my current one. And I'm gonna do edit. And on top here where it says subject, I'll just go ahead and paste it here. The only difference here, we're gonna remove the subject colon because it's gonna know that by the subject label here. The rest, I'm gonna keep the same. Click continue. And you can see how that shows up like this in the subject line at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and update filter. And now this should be my new filter with this new logic. And if you want now to create more labels and send different emails to other emails, you simply would just create new labels here and then come back here and basically create new filters in this section. So in that case, instead of modifying your existing one, you would create a new filter and send it to the proper spot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.